What's up, Raft Gang? Another video of my arcade mod uh, journey. Uh, we got the monitor in, the 20 inch monitor from Dell. This is the famous Dell 2007 FBB monitor. Just got that in. Power cord here. And we are going to replace the uh, 17 inch monitor inside the arcade cabinet. And uh, you know, as you can see, you got the uh, standard, standard graphics in there. Nothing on top there. So this thing is going out of here. It's coming out of here. So I just got to uh, uh, unscrew the uh, the little holders here, 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 there, and uh, one down there. Yeah, take those off. Take the whole panel out, and then, uh, yeah, it's gonna have to uh, take apart the cabinet, and then we'll get into uh, the installation of the of the monitor. But yeah, let's go ahead and clean this right now. So uh, here it is. Here, so far so good. I don't see too much, no scratches at least, but it is not clean. That's for sure. It's using a microfiber cloth and the standard. TV solution. Screw this down here. Try not to push anything into the corners. And get the outside. Because you're going to have to put some Velcro on the outside strip of the monitor. E-E-L-L, checking the inputs, no VGA cable. From Rust-Oleum. Uh, so we want to change this to DVI, that's what we're gonna do, DVI. All right guys, so I'm using the Insignia um, HDMI to DVI cable from Best Buy, okay? And I have the, the HDMI hooked up to my NVIDIA Shield and I have the DVI going into the, uh, the Dell monitor. So we got a picture. So now to adjust the settings, uh, you wanna press the uh, menu button. And you see on the bottom here, you have the brightness. All right, so we got 100 for brightness. And we go back. And now the next one is gonna be imports, input source, DVI of course. Next one over is gonna be color settings. Um, it's in PC mode, so that's good. And the next one down is color adjustment. If you select that, I'm going PC custom color. The next one is going to be image modes. Image mode, you have desktop mode, multimedia mode, and gaming mode. So you can select desktop mode. And then the next one is display settings. Uh, right now, it's uh, I have it at fill for wide mode. Uh, let's see if I can ch choose. So I can't choose anything else. So it's in fill mode only. And the others are going to be uh, audio options. Uh, during on during power save no and then display information and let's see what let's see what display information gives me so 1600 by 1200 at 60 hertz sweet and that's it there and then we go to back again and then one more over is menu settings and I just kept that default no big deal there all right so now that all my settings are in and we're in, we're in DVI, what you want to do, it's very important, is just to unplug it. That's it. When you unplug it, the power, um, when you turn on the power again, it'll automatically turn on to that input. Right? So make sure you do that. So change the input and unplug the power. Don't press the power button. We don't want that. We just want to unplug the power. So that's it, guys. All right, so uh, yeah, let's look at the uh, the kit. All right, guys, so here is the uh, the mounting kit. Just arrived from FedEx. Thank you very much. And let's see what we have here. Whoa. Okay. What is that? That's interesting. I need to cut this out. 
I need to cut this. This is the uh, graphic marquee. So we got some uh, creases in it already. Not sure why that is, but I'm supposed to cut this out. So this is a plexiglass that goes in front of the monitor. Here is the backing or the plate for it. But it looks like I have to put the Mortal Kombat sticker on here. You have to cut more of this out to fit the 20 inch, 20 inch opening, see? All right, so I gotta cut this out. And then lay the sticker on top of this, and that'll be my overlay, and then I put the plexiglass on top. Wow. Well, guys, I got a lot of work to do. All right, guys, I was not anticipating this at all. I'm not good with art at all, or art crafts and stuff. Well, I'm going to try my best, because, you know, you paid extra money for these graphics. You got to stick it on here somehow. All right, so what I did was I fit the, the front, you know, whatever you call this, piece that goes in, on the monitor fit it as best I can, balanced it out for the 20 inch cut out here and then the edges and I put, um, I just got like a thumbtack here and just put holes in the corners so I have a reference if I need to. So I'm just going to hold this down and just razor this thing and we'll see if it works. Got the X-Acto knife here and uh, yeah, wish me luck. Alright guys, so I got it on. Uh, that was definitely not fun at all. And uh, this is not perfect by any means or any stretch of the imagination. I mean, I'm going to have a little cut there, some scratches, some uneven stuff, you know, little blemishes in the corner. You know, uneven, but you know what, guys, it, it's on there. That's all that matters. I mean, if you, you guys are probably a lot better at arts and crafts than I am, but at least I got it on there and I cut you know, as much as I could, you know, out of the original. And there it is. So now um, <clears throat> we got to put the plexiglass on top. And then there's four holes and screws to put in to lock it down uh, to the board. So there, I got to do that next. All right, guys, now I'm going to do the, uh, the Velcro here. And uh, basically got to cut some strips to put on this side top and that side not the bottom um, just in case you want to get to the buttons in the future so uh, yeah there we go I'm gonna cut it all up and uh, attach it to the monitor we have the uh, the sharp side of the velcro down on the monitor and now we'll put the uh, soft side and cut the same strips and lay it on top the washer and the screws put in with the uh, backing uh, for the mount and once you get that in it's a very very strong it's it's attached to the to the uh, monitor uh, so now basically you flip it over you're going to take off the adhesive sticker on the velcro and then we're going to place that mark that uh, bezel right on top of the monitor really nice and level so we're going to do that now
And this is really hard to get off. Damn. All right, so once that's on there, just kind of align it up as much as possible. There's four pre-drilled holes in the plexiglass, so you can either, you know, you got the screws that come with the kit here. Screw it in uh, with the uh, Phillips, or you can use your, your hand drill, but just make sure it's on a very light setting. You don't want to go through too hard and crack it. Yeah, it's level two on my drill bit. All right, guys, so we have all the L brackets installed. I pre-drilled the, the, the four holes and then tighten those down. So all the brackets are ready to go. And then you have, uh, you know, four screws left over. So now, basically, I'm going to take out the old monitor and I'm going to lift this entire cab. Well, basically, I'm going to take one side off and then lift it up and put it on this table. And then I can uh, put the monitor in and line it up real good and then uh, drill it into the into the side wall there so it stays like that there all right here we go so i lay it flat on the table undo undo the uh the top panel here and now i'm taking out the old monitor and i'm going to leave the uh, control control deck in there while i put the new monitor in and line it up perfectly so when i put everything back together it, it looks really good that's what i'm doing now you got to be careful none of these other parts fall off that's the tricky part. Okay, so once I got everything lined up, you know, you push it, push it as far close as possible to match the top and the control deck. Then we can go ahead and pre-drill the two holes down there. Remember this video? Oh yeah. Locked in guys. All right. So now that that's locked in, now it's gonna, we're going to put the whole board back down, tighten all the screws, and then go back inside and pre-drill on the side cabinet, and then put the screws in. Alright guys, I have it mounted in perfectly. It took a while, guys. It took a while. I actually had to re-drill. I had to re-drill once. See the, yeah, well, I had to redrill once just because um, my marquee was too high, so I had to lower it, which means I had to, you know, move that up. So anyway, it's perfect now. I'll show you the front in a little bit. So right now, I got to hook up all the power wires back, and uh, now things are different, right? We're not using the old monitor with the uh, VGA converter deal. And of course, this new monitor does not have HDMI, right? It has DVI. So we all know that DVI does not pass audio. So what I need to do, you see, this is my main HDMI wire right here. This is the main HDMI wire going under the carpet. As you, you know, if, you, if, you, if you've been following my journey, you'll, you'll know what this wire is for. We're gonna use the uh, HDMI to DVI. In order to get audio, I'm going to use the HDMI extractor. HDMI audio extractor. So basically I run the HDMI in. And then it'll go out. HDMI out. And I can use that audio cable right there, right? See? That audio cable will go here. And that's going into my uh, powered bookshelf speakers right there. So it's perfect and of course I have my dual subs as well so that's how I'm gonna get the audio from the HDMI because this is DVI and there's no audio output on the back here so that's what I'm gonna do there and I'm gonna get uh, this uh, see LED light strip and for right now I'm gonna put it along 
this side up and across and stop there. And then Friday, I'm going to get the other side over and down. And then it'll be a different color. So I'm going to do that. Um, this little piece might work for you guys if you have this line around. DVI and then HDMI there. You can always try that. But I like this. It's gold plated and it's all one cable. So um, USB extension. Not sure why I bought this, but I'm sure I need it for something. And then the outlet saver. Uh, my smart power strip only has four plugs, so I'm going to use this. Hook up to one outlet, then I'll have three outputs there, and then I'll free up three of these. So that'll be nice. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this all hooked up, and then I'll I'll be right back and show you what it looks like. See ya. Hey Google, turn on arcade. Got it. Turning the arcade on. Oh yeah. That's awesome. All right, Raft Gang, so we got the new monitor put in. It's absolutely glorious. The Dell 2007 FBB or FB, I don't know what it is. Way better than the stock uh, monitor. Crisper, higher resolution, color, blackness, contrast, all that is fantastic. One thing I want to correct is uh, in the menu, make sure you select um, Ah, I forget the name of it. The one where it says like uh, picture, multimedia, and game. Select the top one, picture or video or whatever. Pick that mode. That's a better mode. Now, when I get the uh, started, this is just a small video, guys. I'll, I'll do, I don't know when I'm going to do a full tour of it. But anyway, this is what it is here. Monitor's in place. Got the graphics on it. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and start up Big Box. There it is, guys. 20-inch Dell monitor installed. It's glorious. Yes, Mortal Kombat. Let's go. Oh, Mortal Kombat 2. Let's get it. Look at that picture. Look at that color. Look at that green. Look at that blue. Yeah, there he is. That's my guy. Scorpion. Looks so good, guys. Very happy with the monitor. Everything worked out beautifully. There it is, guys. Mortal Kombat 2. It's waiting on one more light strip I can put on the other side. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put blue over here. It'll be all blue. Got the got the remote control. I put I velcroed right to the side. I can do power, mute. And volume right here connected to the powered insignia and I got one poke sub there I got another poke sub there all connected perfect love this guys I'm so freaking happy everything worked out beautifully still waiting on the uh, the plugs for the screws so I'm gonna get those and I'll plug those up with some black uh, covers and then it's still waiting on the dust caps that are Mortal Kombat themed. And then that's it. And I'll be done. Could always do a, a, a real coin door, but come on. I mean, come on. You know. Oh, and I'm still waiting for the uh, the trim, right? The red velvet tape. The red vinyl tape. It'll go all across the outside there. So almost done, guys. Let's just, let's press start one more time. Oh, it's so good. Oh, let me unmute. <laughs> Shang Tsung. Oh, man. Mortal Kombat 2. Look at that picture, guys. Can't get enough. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and check out my other mod building videos. And uh, you guys got to get one for yourself.
Come on. Get off me. I'll do I'll do a real demonstration, guys. Don't worry. Alright guys, you have a good night. Alright, see ya.